If you'd like to get glowy, bright looking skin like this while also be protected by the sun, then keep on watching and you'll see my favorite sunscreen combinations and my favorite sunscreen. So this is the four that I'm going to review today. We have the green beaver and then the Japanese sunscreen and then I think two Korean sunscreens. And I got three of these from YesStyle and one of them is actually Canadian so I buy them here. So stay tuned and keep on watching. So just so you know, this is what I put on my skin first. I do apply a moisturizer because I find that I can't just put on sunscreen by itself. So just wanted to guys, just wanted to give you a heads up. I use that instead of fill. So let's start with the first one. It's Sunprise. This is not my favorite one um, because it has fragrance. It does smell a little bit like orange and um, it does... It doesn't leave a gray cast like none of these leave a gray cast but this one isn't as buildable i can see it leaving a gray cast if you apply too much but notice the texture is really nice it blends into the skin really well it does have a little bit of a chalky feel but nothing that feels off or anything like that it just it feels good on the skin and i really like it but i just wouldn't don't see myself using it as often i haven't used it as often and all of these sunscreens i have been using over the course of at least six months before I give you guys a thorough review because I want to make sure that you know I actually see all the pros and cons with each one because some of them I loved in the beginning and then the more I used it the more I saw the things I didn't like about it this one is just mainly the fragrance it's not really good to wear fragrance uh, in general but when you have a sunscreen it's not the greatest as well but you can see it blends in pretty easily the texture is nice if you have a darker skin tone, you definitely want to try to look for these milky textures because they don't leave as heavy, uh, I guess, a cast on the skin and they're just a little bit more comfortable to wear in general. And notice I put this over my eyes. I didn't get any irritation from the sunscreen at all with having it over my eyes. And all of these are mineral sunscreens. So no chemical filters whatsoever. It's all mineral, which is zinc and titanium dioxide. So these, this is a sunscreen outside as promised. I'll show you all of them outside. And this one, you can't see the gray cast at all. There is none and yeah, it's perfect. So this is a Comfy Water by Perito Sunblock and I really liked this one at first and then I noticed that it made my skin a little itchy like, a little irritated. I wore it once without putting a moisturizer under and it actually caused pimples on my skin and some irritation. So this is not my favorite, although it used to be and comparing it to the other ones you'll see it takes a little bit while or a little while longer to blend in but it does have a high SPF, just like all of them do really, except the green beaver one, which you'll see. But it just takes some time to blend in and the irritation for me is not really worth it. Also, I've heard people say that they get pilling or like the balling up of the product. And it did happen to me once when I applied too much of it. This one as well isn't as buildable as the other sunscreens. So if I put too much on, you will see the gray cast and then I will get that like pilling of the product or balling of the product. So it's a good sunscreen, but it's not my favorite now that I've tried others. So even now I'm getting that itchy like feeling and this is it outside no cast whatsoever does give the skin a nice I guess 
inner glow, outer glow, and it just looks good. I threw this one in, it's a recent buy from YesStyle, and I decided to review it because I didn't see any videos for it, so you'll see it in a separate video. It's a mineral sunscreen stick, and you'll see whether or not it leaves a gray cast and what I think about it. So far though, I will say I love it, so look out for that video, it'll be coming soon. And this is my favorite sunscreen of all time. It blends into the skin easily. It's mineral, just like all these mineral sunscreens. It's buildable. It feels so soft and nice on my face. I can apply so much and not get any buildup or a gray cast. It's just lovely. I honestly love it. And um, I didn't expect to love it as much as I did. And I got it on YesStyle, and unfortunately now it's no longer in stock, but I'm really hoping it comes back. And yeah, I just really like it. The only con is that it does have alcohol, which is why I put a moisturizer underneath, and that really does help prevent any dryness. And just look how easily it blends in. It's almost like I'm putting on moisturizer. But even the Cetaphil moisturizer, if I put on this much, I'd still be blending it in. This blends in faster. So it's just lovely. Um, and what I do is I combine this with the green beaver sunscreen which you'll see and that's how i got that glowy look that you'll that you saw in the beginning clip and you'll see after this when i wear it outside so yeah it's just so nice it doesn't even look like i'm wearing sunscreen i'll be repurchasing this one probably for a while and you can see like i'm gonna put on more no problem because it just blends in so nicely and I, I'm in shock still that this is a mineral sunscreen. They did an amazing job. You just don't get products like this in Canada. Um, so the Koreans, the Japanese, they, the Asians in general, they really know what they're doing with their beauty products and they are ahead of the game. So yeah, this is by far my most favorite. So this is what I put on on top of it. And I just squirt the sunscreen into my hand about like five pumps and then I put it on it doesn't blend into the skin as nicely as the previous one I just showed you which I don't even know the name of it um, but I'll link it all in the description box so yeah it doesn't blend in as easily but I do like it still because it doesn't leave a gray cast and it adds a little bit of moisture to my skin this is an oil based sunscreen so if you find you have a lot of oily skin maybe this isn't going to be the one for you but I like it because it gives me that glow and I know sometimes you know you look for that glow in like shimmery products but I look for it in just oils and you do have to be careful with this if you put on too much you just look oily um, but I find even if that happens it, it goes away throughout the day and it just leaves me glowing all day and I've gotten a lot of compliments on doing this combination that first sunscreen and then this after I could wear the sunscreen on its own but the only thing is SPF is only 27 and dermatologists recommend an SPF of 30 or more. So yeah, just something to know. But with this one, I do not need to put on a moisturizer underneath. And I think that's just because of the oil in it. So with other ones, I can't do that. But with this one, I can. But I just like wearing a moisturizer under all my sunscreens now. I'm just used to it and I prefer it. So this is my all-time favorite combination. So I hope you give these mineral sunscreens a try. I hope it helped. And thank you so much for watching. And I'll see you in the next video. Bye.